Albania has over 170,000 bunkers, and after watching me play EU4 with them on very hard, I'm sure you'll understand completely. In perhaps the most fast-paced game I've ever played, I was constantly either attacking or being attacked, so be sure to watch the end for all the twists and turns. However, something that makes me personally feel attacked is the fact that there's a 70% chance that you're not subscribed to the channel. I'd say the aim is to get more subscribers than Albanian bunkers, but sweet Jesus, these people love their fortifications. But if you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to subscribe. As per usual, I'm going to ask you to vote by liking this video. If you end up enjoying it and want to see another part, be sure to let me know. Now, let's see if I can make Skanderbeg proud. Or at least, not disappointed. But, because apparently I'm a masochist, we're going to do this. Oh, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of bonuses now that I look at it. So, Albania on very hard. I'm not going to lie, I didn't plan on playing on very hard until right this moment, so I'm sure I'm going to curse myself for this. Right, so we're going to exploit the development uh, of this place, and we're going to delete the fort. Why am I doing that? Well... You see, all the other little campaigns that I did, um, they were all One Province Miners, and I think it's only fitting that we're also a One Province Miner. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? At least we have Scanderbeg. And an actual mission tree. Right, most important thing, allies. Anyone like- <laughs> Oh no. No one. No one. I can't set my attitude threatened because the Ottomans are not in a position to threaten Albania. Now, I don't want to bring historical context into what is essentially an alternate history simulator, but I feel like that one might be a little bit off. Right, this month tick determined everything. Okay, Bosnia and Serbia are allied, that's fine. I'm going to turn Orthodox. That is <laughs> absolutely something we have to do. Can I be threatened by you now? I can. Excellent. Alright, Aragon, Poland, Lithuania. Oh god, no Hungary. In the meantime, I have to fight the Serbians. Oh. Well, thanks, Serbia. Maybe we can bait the Ottomans into attacking us. Because then we have Venice and Serbia. Hmm. 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 We'll get the claim either way. Any advice off the bat? Nope. Alright, this is uh, a terrible start, ladies and gentlemen. I won't lie to you. This is awful. We need literally every penny we can get. Okay, 0.5 ducats a month. That's not too bad. That is awful. Guaranteed by the Ottomans. <laughs> Man, the game really hates me. Okay. I have a plan B. <laughs> Not a, it's not a good plan B. Okay, Serbia would ally me. Hmm, 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 That's probably quite a good idea. Well, they're, they're doing the equivalent of allying me anyway now, so. All right, we need Jagiellon. That's what we need, and they will no longer ally me because of that. Brilliant. Okay, this is... I don't know how I'm going to do this one, boys. I really regret giving away that province at the start now. I just thought, ha ha, funny for the video, but no, now we're here. All right, I've got these two things. We get morale of armies 5%, and I can also get infantry combat ability 5%. Plus, I have this... States thing, the expansion of Zealotry, which gives me another plus 5%. And Serbia allied the Byzantines. Okay. Can I ally the Byzantines? Oh, I can. Okay. Me, Byzantium, and Serbia. Probably not enough to win against the Ottomans. But it's worth a shot. I'll be honest, lads. My, my hopes are not high right now. They're really not. Love to have this Polish alliance. Minus 66. Ugh. A man can dream. So you no longer like me. Yeah, nah, makes sense. I, I I can appreciate that. I understand your your misgivings towards me. Oh, brilliant. Decadence. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm, we needed to shake up. <laughs> Minus one stability. Oh, 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 God. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, right. This is what we're waiting for. You gotta land. You gotta land. You gotta land. You gotta land. Okay. No, oh, just hide that. Just hide that. Okay, right. Now. Now, just make it across before. Okay. All right, we've landed. How many troops does he have? He has like 6,000. Okay. I'm going to need 9,000 anyway. I'm going to get the free company. All right, wait for him to lock in. Fight him in the hills. All right. Oh, was that stack wide? Oh. Okay. Um, um. <laughs> didn't expect this. Uh, spread out, lads. Spread out. Spread out. Okay. Calmly. Oh, this I can I this might actually work. Lots of guys with <laughs> with zero in there. If you just march there, there's ten men. Oh man! All right. So Hungary potentially could ally me. I nice stack right there. Oh, that was perfectly timed. All right. So there's only one place they can build up now. Only one province. We we I mean we sort of won this war. I'm sure, why we only have two percent war score? Oh, because I'm being blockaded, and that's minus twenty five. All right, we don't actually have enough troops to to, to siege. I don't think. Uh, no point me navally fighting. Right, this is this has gone remarkably well. Why are they building a ship? An early carrot. You're building 
good. Okay. I had hope for an early war against the Ottomans, so I just don't think it's possible and very hard. Because no one would ally me. I'll take stability, thank you very much. And we are hemorrhaging money, so if you wouldn't mind finishing up these sieges, that would be amazing. I say sieges as if there's multiple, there's only one. 10%, come on, Scandabeg, please. Your, your people are starving. The children, Scandabeg, they're, they're eating each other, they're so hungry because we don't have any money in the country, you're wasting time. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, really? See now, because Aragon's declared war in Naples, if I had allies, this would be an amazing moment where I do the old switcheroo and get Hungary and Poland to attack Aragon for me. And it's a brilliant moment of tactical genius and everyone says, oh, Leith, you're so smart, but instead, we're gonna have to do this. There is gonna be a satellite coalition, but I'm just gonna bank on the fact that they don't care enough. Right, we do not want to move into our own territory, we want to head home. Because um, the free company means that I can't ship my boys over here. But why am I keeping the free company? It's because I need to go to war with the Serbians as soon as possible. Because right now the uh, Byzantines won't come in. Their capital is about to fall and uh, everything else is occupied. Pretty soon, they're going to peace out. And when that happens, I need to clear. I'm, I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Yeah, see, there we go. That's why you do it. <laughs> Now, we are fighting 16,000 men. Is this a problem? Absolutely. Venice declared war on the Byzantines. Yeah, well, why not? I might have to trigger this. 25 years and 20 years. I'm not, realistically, I'm not fighting the Ottomans. It's just not happening. Let's just see what happens when I put Scannerbeg in here. We have a take advantage. We do. And <laughs> the Serbians seem content just to let these guys die. That's fine. Good shot defensiveness. And we should win the siege quicker than they do. Ottomans declared war on Theodoro? That's a... Oh. Oh, Theodora tried. Oh, they tried. Oh, buddies. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, they, they tried. They were just smart. They just attacked me here. But they're not. The AI might be uh, very hard, but they're not very smart. Oh, oh that wasn't a good joke. I Look, all of my brain power is dedicated to just this war and, and my circumstances. Right, let's get Bosnia out of this war. I could do the old Athenian thing of forcing religion, but I don't have the war school for it. 14%, lads. Are you feeling lucky? Oh, we made it beforehand, and that's a lovely little battle there. All right, let's get defensiveness off you, because I can't afford it. You squeeze every duck out of this economy. God, this is going to be painful. Are we going to win that? Just about. Jesus. I, if they attack like that again, I don't have any troops left. That Neapolitan Separatists. Okay, we won the siege. Okay, right, let's retreat a little bit. Right, 91%. That's probably enough. I can't take too much. We can take these three. Uh, you'll take full annexation? Now that is intriguing. The issue being that I'd have to deal with 15,000 separatists that I cannot fight. But I think I'm gonna leave you as a one province minor. There we go. The key to Albania is early expansion whilst you have Scandabeg. Oh no. We're gonna need allies. Surely there's gonna be someone who wants to ally me. Ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, excellent news for you. I'd like to introduce you to our newest ally, Hungary. And I say our newest, our only. They broke their alliance with the Austrians, which isn't great, and, uh, well, they're not doing too much else, but we have an ally. We're also making a fair amount of money, considering, you know, how small we are, but that's mostly down to me developing this gold mine. Mm, I'm sure I can fight you at some point. Oh, God, that's so many troops. I really thought that those Byzantines, I swear, I thought, that I thought for a second the Byzantines had somehow managed to wrangle their way into being the HRE. What a born. Not seen Paderborn as a nation. Hey, hey, buddy. What you doing? <laughs> Ottomans, what you doing over there? Oh, oh, there's more of them. How you doing, guys? You all good? Yeah, doing well. Brilliant. Oh, God. Moving around troops, huh? Just, just hanging out, having a good time. That's, that's, that's a lot of troops. How many troops is that? For this stage of the game. 75,000 troops. Cool. Cool. That's, that's fun. No, no, I like that. I like that. So ambitious. You could not declare war on me. That would be great. It's actually really stressful. How can I... Okay. What can I do? What can I do? Are there any other allies I can get? Assal would be my ally? Where even are they? Oh, they don't want to be my ally anymore. That's why. France, no. Austria. Ooh. Oh. I'll do it. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's let's trigger this thing. Uh, let's get the icon. Need decent military advisors. I mean, I'll grab those when we grab. Them. Ooh, this will do. Close to the next miltech. Far away. They have miltech five. My allies. Miltech four. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna win this one. All right. Let's defensiveness everything. I had wanted to build a fort in, in Kosovo, so that sucks I've not been able to do that. No point holding back now. We do have a power base here that they can't get to. 17,000 versus... That's not a good fight, really. It really isn't. I'm gonna have to do it, though. All right, well, let's just see what we can do here. Oh, it's gonna be close! Okay, right, we won. Oh, God, there's not really much I can do here. It's your wait, 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 yeah, 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 please, 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 please. Uh, attach, um, get Admiral. There's 40,000 troops. If I can hold this, if I can hold this, we'll be fine. If I can hold this, we'll be fine. The Ottomans are now stuck. Even if they take the problems, if we hold Yanya, they can't do anything. They've got 44,000 men that are stuck on their own Corfu. Okay, this just became a little bit feasible. All right, I need to take back my gold mines. But please, just attach to me. Okay, I think we have naval dominance. Go and help with that siege. I think... God, they've got a lot of troops, though. Look, the Ottomans are trapped. Oh, my God. I'll wait for this guy to lock in, and the Hungarians are locked in with me. I think the Venetians are as well. Okay, that's important. We need to hold both sides of the strait. It's the only way to stop them from flooding across. Now we have to win the sieges. Go on, Hungary, Hungary, Hungary. All right, leaving behind a 1,000 troops to save the siege. The rest of you lot, we need to go and save the Hungarians. Oh my god, we might actually do this. Okay, we lost about a couple of thousand troops there in the stack wipes. Oh, this is close. Oh god, these are these fights are so brutal. I'm standing over like this, so then I get the the um the sieges, because as you can see, Hungary's starting to siege some of this stuff. <laughs> the AI marching on to Corfu. There was no way we we're winning this war otherwise. There was no way. And we won the siege of Constantinople. The Hungarians went across and they got stomped. I have no intentions of doing that. Alright, won the siege of Gelibolu. Get rid of these mercenaries. They shouldn't be able to get across the strait. Starting to build their navy back up. Alright, 72%. And it's going to be ticking up by 13 more. Okay. We've sort of pushed across the strait slightly, but I'm not. No. <laughs> by the skin of your teeth there, buddy. I don't trust these, these navies, so I'm going to put my own ships here because they keep on darting back and forward. But the one advantage on very hard is that your, your AI allies are also ridiculously overpowered. All right, and after that insanely bloody conquest, we won. Now, the question is, do I release allies? Uh, allies? Well, I suppose they will be allies. Um, my own friends are going to be rather upset at me. This is a really good land that I need. You know what? Last time I played as Theodoro, I didn't give you guys Byzantium. This time, let us welcome back the Byzantines. And also, the Bulgarians. That saves me my role issues, but we've conquered back the promises I gave away at the start of the game. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, okay, local ruler. Make friends with our allies. And quickly. All right, we'll ride with the Papal State, Genoa, and also Florence. Oh, we can get a new idea group. Right, this is, this is good. Uh, first things first, let's marry off members of our family that we no longer need to our guys. You're not disloyal, you're not disloyal anymore, though. Venice Center Military Coalition. Yeah, I know. Royal Marriage. There we go. You'll be loyal now, right? Yeah, firmly loyal. Well, I say firmly. More like mildly. Hold Scanabek, he's 57. So if we have a spy network against the Turks, we get all Christian provinces owned by the Ottomans. Uh, in the Balkans, get plus 10 on rest. Which probably isn't that useful. No, it's on very hard, so yeah, minus 2 and also minus 1 from luck. However, lads, that looks like a natural place to end the video up here. That was... Very stressful, um, but locking the Ottomans into Corfu definitely was uh, the best possible thing that could have ever happened to us. Why have you given them military access, Byzantium? No, no, we don't like them. Hostile. To recap, we started as one province minor, uh, took out <laughs> Naples to get Albania and Italy, uh, which is probably, yeah, that's upset the Aragonese a little bit, because these are all ne Neapolitan cores. 
Uh, we then took our gold mine and then had to fight the Ottomans, but we've resurrected Bulgaria and Byzantium. So all in all, a decent, a decent enough start. Uh, a surprising start, but a good one nonetheless. As per usual, lads, if you would like this series to continue, um, then please give it a like. I think something like 6,000 likes will do it for the next episode, because I don't want to be making these things if no one's uh, enjoying them. So, vote with your likes, lads. If you enjoy it, give it a like. If you don't, well, just tell me in the comments.